This nation faces a variety of challenges. I think they're very well defined in the national defense strategy that was promulgated by the administration earlier this year. They call it the four plus one. China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, and terrorist groups around the world, principally Salafist jihadi groups that threaten our way of life. RAND routinely does wargaming and analysis of all of these challenges. Um, we have scenarios that depict potential conflicts between ourselves and our state adversaries. Uh, we do focused computer modeling of those of aspects of those conflicts. And of course, we get information and feedback from the field every day about how the fight against terrorism is going. So we've got people in the field in Afghanistan and Iraq and the Philippines uh, interviewing our forces, monitoring how that's going and extracting lessons from that. The principal lessons from our report are, are twofold. One, the current trends with regard to the balance between U.S. forces and those of our adversaries are not positive. We're, 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 we're disquieted by those. But as serious as those challenges are, they are not intractable. There's a range of investment options that are available to us here and now today that can really help move the needle against these kinds of challenges. And if we can mobilize a modest but sustained level of resources to invest in those things, we'll be able to strengthen deterrence in the coming years.